Greetings, friends and allies of Prosthesis. I thought it was time that we took a tour of the technology of this machine. It functions a lot like a real beast. It has a central nervous system which controls the flow of power from the batteries to the pumps. Together they comprise more or less the heart of the machine. The muscles reside in the leg and that's what makes it jump. The controls, or the soul if you will, is left up to the human. So let's take a closer look and we'll see what makes this thing tick. As with any giant machine, it starts with a big red button. This activates the hydraulic power pack. This is a fully mobile lithium ion powered hydraulic power pack. The central nervous system of the thing is in this box. It contains an Arduino, which is monitoring the pressure on each of the pumps. One pump is for the knee and one pump is for the hip. That allows us to optimize the flow and pressure for each joint. The battery itself is a 72 volt 24 cell pack and it's managed by this battery management system which keeps the cells balanced and makes sure things don't get overcharged or get over discharged. Power is funneled according to the Arduino's controls algorithms into the motor controllers. They can deliver up to 450 amps into the motors. The motors are spinning simple pumps and they deliver the real power to the leg. Some of the other cool features of this are a built-in 3 kilowatt charger, we have a variable volume reservoir, which was a genius idea developed by one of our hydraulic engineers, uh, and a radiator to keep everything cool. So let's see where this power goes. Let's check out the leg. The leg is where the muscles are. We have two hydraulic cylinders, one for the knee and one for the hip. And they extend and retract. They make the hip swing back and forth and the knee retract and extend. They're controlled by two solenoid valves from Hydroforce, and they are what make the leg move. But it's the suspension that was the real innovation here. The suspension had to be custom engineered because no one's ever really built suspension for a giant walking machine before. We have an automotive damper and coil spring, but we have a couple of air springs in here too, which are controlled by the pilot real time. So they can automatically and instantly change the impact resistance and the rebound force of the springs, which is something that they'll have to learn how to do to adapt to different terrain and different running speeds. So let's check out the interface because that's actually where all of the good stuff happens. So this is where it all goes down. This is the interface. You've got to strap in, not because you're going to get thrown out, at least not yet, but because you really got to give this thing some oomph to keep a handle on it. Once you're properly strapped in, turn it on and you're ready to jump. Take it up against a Bugatti Veyron. That favorite thing.